Hey everybody, Anel here with NKY Honeybees. Welcome back to the channel. Today I want to give you an update on my apiary and tell you why it looks different than it did a couple of weeks ago. I've also experienced a whole bunch of exciting events in past couple of days which I'm going to talk about and actually show you one. So as you can see this is black locust, it's blooming, honeysuckle is blooming, uh, clover, everything else is blooming that you can think of. Everything came on at once. Well, um, last week I was too busy, the flow came on probably Saturday I would say, and I was too busy to get in the hive, so I threw some extra boxes on there and hoped for the best, and well, that didn't work out too well. Why? Because that hive right there actually swarmed on me. That was my best hive I had. Um, I actually got to witness it for the first time. I pulled in with my car, started walking towards the hive, and it started happening. I couldn't time it any better than that. So. I did not catch the swarm, they left um, because they were up there in that tree about 50 feet up. So I, by the time I went to get some poles and, and buckets and things to try to get them down, they were gone. So lesson learned, it was exciting to watch actually, to be honest with you, I was actually excited. Um, however, I am kind of sad that bees left and it was a huge swarm. I'll show you a little clip up here and um, some couple of pictures on here. Today, I uh, gotta get in the hives, it's not the best of days, it's not sunny, however, it's the only time I got and I hope none of the other hives have swarmed or they are going to swarm because they're definitely honey bound. How I know that? Because I haven't been in there. Because when I try to lift the hive from the back, I can't even move it. That's how heavy it is. And I'm sure there's some queen cells in some of the other hives. So. Today we're gonna um, go into one of the probably Apame hives, I'll start on that end and show you what a honey bound hive looks like. I bet it's full of honey and queen gone over to lay. Um, this is not the first time I've experienced this. So let's get in one of the hives and see what that looks like. So this is where the fun begins. I hope the bees are gonna be okay, but highly doubt that because it's, like I said, it's cloudy, it's not raining, it's not cold, it's just one of those depressing days that I call. All right, we'll start just start on the edge here. So today I assume that there's going to be queen cells in here and this is a honey bound hive. And we're going to find that out. Like I said, everything is blooming like crazy. And look at that first frame. That is full of honey. I bet the other side too. It sure is. So looking at the hive, I don't think they swarm. There is a lot of bees in here. However, you can never be sure until I see the queen. I bet 90% of these frames are honey, full of honey. Yep, this one too. It's extremely heavy. Look at that. So that's what we call honey bound around here because the queen doesn't actually have a place to lay anything because bees have filled up everything with honey, with nectar. All right, I just need a better angle so you can see the nectar in here. Look at this, it's crazy. So we'll see how many frames. Uh, so the problem with this is the bottom box is probably full of nectar too and queen has no place to lay and they usually end up swarming on you. At least that's my experience. Happens to me all the time. Some say it's a good problem to have. It sure is when you have frames, which I don't. I don't have any more finished frames. I have new frames. But you will need some finished frames to draw on comb so queen can actually lay. All right, let's go on to the next one. Wow, that's heavy. Look at this beauty. I don't see any queen cells. That's probably because there is no eggs up here. It's just honey. Beautiful. It's a beautiful sight. Smells so good. So, 
Like I said, the other hive swarmed on me yesterday. I couldn't get the swarm. I'm kind of bummed about that, but I'm hoping this one is not about to do the same on me. However, just going through these frames, look at this. Every frame is almost ready to be kept. So far, um, like I said, I'll have to get in on the bottom to confirm this that they're honey bound but I'm pretty sure they are like I said haven't <laughs> it's happened to me before look at that it's all nectar yeah same thing on this side too hopefully you can see this on camera I tried to get a good angle so you can see it you can see exactly what I'm talking about Oh, somebody's in trouble. Yeah, another one. Just what it is. It's full of nectar. I know it's repetitive, but that's what that is. It's a honey-bound hive. Uh, there's a little bit of capped brood here, but that's going to be filled as soon as it caps because I had it as a double deep. I didn't have a queen excluder down here. So I'm going to fast forward just to finish out this hive. Uh, this top uh, box and then we'll move to the bottom Okay, so I just went through the top box and as you can see all ten frames are back to back full of nectar so there is no room up here for the queen to lay so we're gonna take a look at the bottom one too see what's going on down there I bet it's same if not similar to the top box all right so hopefully I can spot the queen down here I'm hoping she actually has room to lay in this box however it's heavy <laughs> we're gonna find out so when she doesn't have room to lay that's when problems come. They try to swarm on you. Or replace the queen. So this is brood. This is good actually. Yeah, so this is good because there is some brood in here. So she was able to lay a little bit before they backfilled it. So this is kind of mixed up. Um, some is nectar. Other things are just basically larvae and eggs. All right, let's see what else we got. It's beautiful. I only, uh, this is actually eggs in this frame, so it might not be too bad down here. However, I gotta go through the rest of the frames. So, looking at this, this is laid up pretty well with eggs. Still some nectar, but it's okay. This is nectar mostly. Hopefully, I can see the queen too. I did see a couple of cells, queen cells up top. They were starting to work on them. But they weren't capped or anything. This is fairly light. And this is also eggs, so not bad. There's few frames of eggs at least. Let me take a look at if I can see the queen. Same thing here. They're really getting agitated here. I'm sorry ladies, however I think some of the uh, frames are really honey because it's fairly heavy this bottom hive. So this is a mix between larvae and, and nectar so it's all checkerboarded kind of, not consistent. Same on this side. Oh, that's a heavy frame and here come the queen cups look at the bottom here yep so they're definitely looking to swarm on me look at this see this is why I gotta check the hives come on ladies let me see if I can get them off Wow yeah so I'm gonna have to split this hive most likely 
because I don't want them to swarm full of nectar again. See, that's the problem. She definitely does not have enough room to lay in. So I'm going to leave those queen cups in there, actually. I won't break them because I might take the queen out, make a split, and let them requeen themselves. Or maybe add a queen in here, get one. I'll see. I have yet to decide on that. See, look at that. Whatever is not, um, there is not an egg or larvae in there, it's filled with nectar. So she definitely has no room, she's just roaming around, God knows which box she's in. I was hoping she's down here, but then I might have missed her up there too. See, they're just fixing this uh, frame, and there is the queen, she's right there. As you can see, she's in this frame, however, this is full of nectar, she got no room to lay. And that's a good queen, because it's, in a, it's a fantastic hive from last year. So I'll probably split her, take few frames, and do a split into another hive. I'll make another video on that. But just letting you know what my plans are here. They'll hopefully draw this out for her. I'll take a look at these frames too. Oh wow, that's heavy. Look at that. That's all honey. I could knock those cells down and give her some empty frames, but I don't have any empty frames at this point, so I've used them all in all of my hives, so that's not going to help me out. Look at this, just full of honey, absolutely honey bound this hive is. That's what a honey bound hive looks like. Alright, let's take a peek at this, it's heavy. Yep, and there's some more queen cells, look at that, this one's almost capped over, so they're almost ready to go, in just a few days they can go, however, see they're starting to cap this, I will not let them go, I will split this hive, uh, probably tomorrow, not today actually, because it's getting really late, I don't want to do that, so I will do that tomorrow, and let them requeen themselves. All right, so let me put this back together, and what I'll do, I'll go through the other hives, and then I'll give you an update in the end, kind of a summary of what happened, what I found in, in most of the hives. All right, guys, so that was a lot of work, actually. I went through uh, the other two hives, same exact thing. They're honey-bound, as much as honey-bound they can be. Maybe a little, even a little worse. The other, this first hive had a couple of frames the queen laid. Uh, the other ones don't have any. So I don't have any more finished frames, drawn frames with comb. I have new frames, so I'm going to probably add that on top, but I don't know if that's going to help because she needs room now. So my best action at this point is probably going to be to split the hive and let them requeen themselves, so it buys me some time. Uh, there is a lot of bees in there, they're going to keep bringing in nectar, um, regardless if the queen is there or not. However, um, it's going to give me some time where I'll brood and Maybe they can cap some of the frames so I can extract them by the time Queen starts laying again and put those frames back. Again, I wasn't ready. I thought I was ready for this spring, but everything hit at once. And I could not believe how much honey they packed in just, just seven, eight days. It's, it's unbelievable. Always gets me. All right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed the video. As you can see, that's a honey-bound hive. Well, all, all three of them. Um, and if you enjoyed it, give me some comments, hit that like, and I'll see you in the next video.